Yo, what is up? If you guys want to promote your music on the channel, hit me up on Instagram, and I'll make sure your music is promoted on the channel. So, check it out. And now, on to the video. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Caleb here, back in another video. And today, we're talking about hate mail. Now, before we do anything else, make sure you check out my last video I did on Monday, I'm talking about Public Cardi, and how it's been two years since this project actually dropped. But other than that, we should get straight into it. And some of you guys are probably thinking, Caleb, why are you reading into the hate? Why are you reading hate? I'm just trying to create more content for the channel. I thought it'd be entertaining to just look at some stuff that people have been sending me. Also, if you're out here hating on my content, I might as well just block you, so don't even waste your time, bro. So the first comment comes from Buddy Boy Brad Smith, and he says, this N-word is about to fall off the face of the earth once Eternal Take comes out. Now, it looks like to me that Brad is a very ignorant kind of person because he doesn't notice that not all my videos are Eternal Take revolved. Most of them are, but not all of them are. And some of the non-Eternal Take ones even get a couple thousand views. So that's a win in my book. Now, then we have a comment from Jordan McCoy. Now, I want to say that Jordan is one of my subscribers, but I don't know. He just seems too ignorant to be one of my subscribers. But he says, I'm going to be honest, bro. I think you should just quit YouTube for a bit. You're kind of annoying. It'll drop when it drops. Now stop. No, reading this, you have to think that, oh, he's watched maybe a couple of my videos and wasn't happy with the result. Even though my, all of my videos will give you the release date. When it's going to give you the release date, I might put that in the title, put that in the thumbnail. So that way you'll know. But most of them are just, I'm giving you news and I'm giving you my thoughts and then maybe even predictions. But I'm annoying because I post Eternal Tech every week, even though like half of my subscribers, oh no, 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 I'm not even gonna say half, I'm gonna say most of my subscribers wanna see me post that. But you're gonna say I'm annoying. Okay, I'm annoying then I guess. And I guess every YouTuber that posts anything is just annoying. And most people be thinking that I'm just making these videos, oh, just to say, oh, it's dropping this day, it's dropping this day. I don't be doing that anymore. I started doing that, but I, I got tired of doing that. And then we have another ignorant comment from Alex Daniel, who, again, doesn't follow my videos. Like, if you don't watch my videos, you're probably not gonna understand where I'm coming from in these videos, or the thumbnail, or the title. So there's no point in even trying to come at me. And he says, you're soft for making these videos, knowing you're no S about the release date. Just taking in ad revenue, shake my head. Now, first off, he gonna say I'm soft? Like, I'm soft, really? Gonna use that to describe me when I'm making videos? Like, you soft when you describe somebody that's like, I don't know, afraid or just weak. So according to him, I'm weak for clickbaiting y'all and making y'all watch these videos. And then he's talking about, I don't know the release date. Well, try to break the news to you, buddy, but half of the YouTubers on YouTube don't know the release date. Not academics, mm -hmm. not Dumbest mm -hmm. Live. Nobody knows, nobody. So all we can do is speculate. So get your facts straight. And then he wants to say, I'm taking an ad revenue. Like I'm a big YouTuber or something. I only get like maybe 10K on an Uzi video on, on occasion. And I might rarely get like maybe 30K, you know what I'm saying? So I don't make a lot of money from this. You know, I, may, I have a job. I make more money from the job. So far, I've received one check from YouTube and it was only for $200. And I've been on YouTube for what, maybe a couple of years now but then again this was my first real year as a like growing just like growing numbers but like it, i really haven't made no money i do all the stuff on the side you know what i'm saying so for him to say that he don't even know how much money i'm making so it, it'll just show you that there's people in your life that'll be just hating on you just because they see you winning it doesn't matter because they're irrelevant in your situation in the first place so i ain't never upset when i see these comments i'm always just laughing because they spent their time to write me a comment like this one time this guy read me like a whole paragraph and i didn't even care i deleted it in like two minutes so if you're doing you and people hating on you because of that and you don't hurt nobody then you must be doing something right but yeah this is only a small fraction of what i've had to delete and block people for um in the past so what do you guys think about it in the comment section below let me know hit the like button if you enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and i'll see the rest of you guys later Hey you, yeah you, I see you sitting there. Let me ask you, how do you feel about Trippy Red? Okay, okay, okay. How do you feel about Travis Scott? Okay, okay. How do you feel about Playboy Cardi? You know what, how do you feel about Lil Uzi? Like, these are one of the best in the game. Okay, so if you like all these, this is probably the channel for you, as well as some of your favorite artists. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. I'll wait.